remember the exact statistic, but I think for the sort of the women in high energy physics, a very large fraction of them are married to other high energy physicists. It's just because you know you spend so much time in your labs that the the probability of <laughs> getting married to somebody or going out with somebody from the same area just increases. People ask you, what do you do? And the minute you say you do physics, that sort of kills the conversation. <laughs> then you come across somebody who essentially finds, uh, you know, that they have the same interests, they understand you. I mean, that's a big plus. What you want to avoid is a situation where you know, Talika does some analysis and I'm almost ready but you know I'm six hours later and then they make this announcement and it looks like well you know CMS did, did this analysis and Atlas did nothing right. People are already working day and night because they don't want to be the ones that were late. So it's competition which is really driving it and you just don't want to be second. Because you're doing these things that are not quite public yet, right? You, you, you can't tell everyone yet where you are exactly, you know, um, until you're until you're really done. So you hear rumors, right? And you don't always know if, if the rumor is truth or if it's just a rumor. You just get used to working in this environment where you, you sort of know a, a, there's a little bit of excitement around something, but you always know that, that it's probably not completely true, you know, the things that you hear. So if you haven't found something and you hear rumors that the other experiment has, you leave basically no stone unturned at that point. I view it somewhat differently. I view it as like doubling down your bet. You know, if you don't put one on <laughs> everything on, on one experiment, now we've got you know something on the other one. So either way, you know, uh, you know, we'll win out in the end. It's sort of fascinating to watch them at this stage. They're all like scientists because they drop something to see if it falls, rediscovering gravity. So every time she does something new, she has to do it 10, 15, 20 times, methodically trying things out over and over again and making sure, you know, and doing an experiment over and over again. Action and reaction, you know? This is the action and this is the reaction. <laughs> right. I guess the question is whether she's going to join CMS or Atlas. <laughs>